Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I will be doing a quick unboxing of Trick or Treat Studios Chainsaw Replica from the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre in 1974. And by the way, if you're watching this video, please like and hit the subscribe button to help my channel grow. If you enjoy anything like horror movies or Halloween decor or anything spooky in general, please hit the button especially because I think you're enjoying my channel. As you can see, I have my Texas Chainsaw Massacre t-shirt right now that I'm wearing, which is from Fright Rags. Texas Chainsaw is probably one of my most favorite horror movies of all time. It's up there with The Exorcist and the original Halloween and Friday the 13th Part 1 and 2. Um, but it's always been a favorite of mine. The movie is so grimy, raw, and it just, it's, it's unnerving to watch. And I, I will admit, I have not watched it many times. It's, I can only watch it so many times. Uh, but just the end of the scene where Sally is in the back of the pickup truck and she's crying and screaming and laughing at the same time while what Leatherface is chasing her with the chainsaw. It just does something to me. <laughs> but there's a lot of un uncomfortable scenes in that movie. Uh, it's one of those movies where it feels like you, you're dirty after you're watching it. Like you have to take a shower is what it really feels like. But um, yeah, I just wanted to share that bit. And I will admit, I actually enjoyed the remakes. Well, some of the remakes. I, I enjoyed the 2003 version with Jessica Biel and uh, the 2013 and even the Netflix version had things that I did enjoy about it. So I know a lot of people don't like the Netflix uh, version especially, but I thought it was really good. But definitely 2003, I believe is my favorite. It's, it's very underrated. I, in my opinion, they really did try their best to make their own version of the original movie, I felt like. Um, so I'm going to skip this part of unboxing the actual box and then we'll take a look at the actual packaging. Okay. Here we go. There it is. There. there it is, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna like switch the camera around or something to get a, a better view of this. All right, so this is the chainsaw in its packaging, its display packaging, which is really cool. You have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Deluxe Chainsaw Prop with sound and motion. At the very top, to make sure everything is still in shot. <laughs> Who will survive and what will be left of them? And then we have the side of... Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take it off my tripod. Now right, here's the back side of the packaging. By the way, you will need Four double A batteries for this. Not included, of course. All right, let's get started. All right, just a heads up. All you have to do is open up the side part of the outer box and this will slide out. All of this slides out from the sides. Just to give you a heads up because I couldn't figure it out at first. And all I have to do now is just cut off these straps but look at the blood detail, which is really cool. And I cannot wait to get this sucker out. All right, so I will take some shots of the chainsaw and different angles and lighting. They give you an idea of what it really looks like and how it functions. The one little pet peeve that I have is just something I'm seeing more common with Halloween decor items and just props. Not necessarily from Trick or Treat Studios, but just from anywhere. Um, that the battery cover is attached by these little tiny screws. The ones that you have to have like a super small screwdriver 
So that's another thing to keep in mind when you're unpacking this. Make sure you have the batteries and a small screwdriver to undo the bottom of the, the battery lid. But anyway, other than that, I love this item and I will show you guys what it looks like and how it works. Right, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe below. Like I said, your likes will help my channel grow. Um, I do have the deluxe Billy the Puppet from Saw coming. He's been shipped out. He's on his way. As soon as I get him, I'll make a video of him. I have Tiffany the dog coming from NECA. And a few other things too, so you will want to stay tuned. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching.